What's going on everyone? Welcome back to more of Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, uh, shit hit the fan. And by shit, I mean a uh, giant whale. And by fan, I mean the entire city. <laughs> what are you laughing at, old man? Yeah, what are you laughing at? Warren, let's get out of here. We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. Now that I think about it, a prequel to this game would be cool, because we don't even know really how, at least I can't remember, how Titus knows Orin. Maybe he just knows of him. I'm not sure. Okay, so, we're gonna want to attack that thingy, the, uh, that, that machine laying there, but I guess Orin has to tell us about it first. Oh no, the wings are flickering. The wings are flickering, and also, uh, as for most series, uh, I'm still, uh, for the most part, I know what I'm doing with this recording software, but, uh, I'm trying to get the sound right, so for the first couple episodes, the sound might not be perfect, but it's definitely better than my Skyrim Let's Play, because the first long part of that Skyrim, you couldn't hardly hear the game, so hopefully I'm doing a better job with it this time. Ooh, overkill. Keep your spines to yourself, good sir. Okay, so I guess we want to attack the ones with the, the, with the hmm. flickering. This could be bad. That. Knock it down. What? Trust me, you'll see. Uh, big boom. So we'll just keep using Orin to kill the ones that are flickering, and we'll use Titus to attack the the car. I guess, I, I guess that's a car. <laughs> <clears throat> It'd probably be faster to do it the other way around. So we'll have Titus attack these, and Orin can attack the. I don't think it's a car. It's uh, like an oil rig or something. You can attack yourself. I kind of want to try it, but not right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure I've tried to attack myself before. <laughs> Somehow we got off track it to where when they flicker, Orin's always up, but whatever. Well, this should be good soon. Alright, we'll get this back to normal now. Yeah, about the, uh... Sound. I've been doing test recordings, but uh, it gets hard to find the perfect uh, uh, way to record it. Whoa. Whoa. Oren gives no fucks. <laughs> I just found a thumbnail. <laughs> Orin! 
Or maybe that's the thumbnail, I'm not sure. You always gotta pick a cutscene because they're so pretty. You are sure. This is it. This is the whole story. This part is pretty deep, if you know what happens at the end. Hey! 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 My old man? down here I thought about a lot of things like where I was what I got myself into in your how your hair used to be to brown feel lightheaded and then sleepy let's see that bleaches it I guess I think I had a dream a dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Oh, I remember this place. <laughs> Birdie. Hey! And now it's you and no one. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying earlier about the uh, something to do with the sound quality in the recording, but I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene too much. I've probably said something about it before. Now, let's have a, a decent look around here, because there probably are some hidden items. What I've been meaning to do, because I do have the guidebook for this game, well, the original one, but, uh... Ooh, it's a, something is written here. Edra Mitzvurnt Mekid Mitzidra Dra Mekid Fredrit Makalania Pervit draw vendor bimen oi kerkred. Mukad odd mod pid odd nakrid. What do we have here? No, nope. can't read it. I uh, cause a bit throughout the game you'll find these little I, I think they're called like they're these little books that teach you the language of of the albed which is a race here, and uh, and it's it, I just always thought those a pretty neat thing but I guess maybe if we come here. I, in a new game and we have all the books we can read that and maybe something happens 200 gil nice oh okay we got to do a lot of exploring because e either a we can't come back here ever or b we can't come back here for a really long time Okay, I doubt anything's gonna be back there. Swimming in the water. I can't swim through that. <laughs> now, since there's something on the other side, I'm willing to bet there's something on this side. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, I see stairs. I see stairs indeed. 
Yeah, since I have the book. Introduction Albed, find Albed primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Sikin Dadra Albed Mikiki I could make it. You know what's funny? When I, I in the last episode I talked about how much I love this game. When I was younger, I memorized some of the Albed language. <laughs> it, it it's not like a hundred percent complete of a language, but it's close. Select save data to synthesize Albed primer. Synthesize No bad no dictionary found. Okay, well Maybe there's a book around here. Two potions. Use previously saved Albed primer data to synthesize the new Albed primer. Okay, so it seems like we use like on a new character or a new a new save I mean, we would use that and it would give our current new for save all of the language. Then we could read that thing over there. But uh let's actually look and see if we can I don't think we'll be able to read it now. But we'll just we'll have a quick look. Cause obviously you're supposed to go over there, but since we can't come back here, you know, might as well do all the discovering we can. And like I was saying earlier with the uh the book that I have, uh I'll start reading the book, like say say if I plan to be somewhere in another episode, I'll read that so I can find out where all the secret items are. Indie Gala update thingy, go away. I want to know nothing of what you have to say. Not right now, at least. Okay, well. That's a new character thing, I guess. Alright. We must find shelter, dry land, and food. We're playing Final Fantasy Minecraft. <laughs> Also, with my, uh, with my, um, editing software, it, like, it's hard to tell how, like, the quality of what it's doing, because I have been rendering episodes of Skyrim with it, but I only recently got to episodes of Skyrim where I've recorded it with Bandicam, which is my new recording software. I had to be using my old software, so things were coming up too dark with my old recording in the new editing software. So, I need to figure out if if uh, my, if recording an episode of Bandicam, if it's still too dark when I edit it with Sony Movie Pro 13. If that makes sense. <laughs> and let's save. The one thing I don't like about Bandicam, maybe there's a setting, but it doesn't tell me in the corner how long I've been recording. So I don't know how long I've been here, but we're going to go ahead and keep going. The next safe place will probably be when we uh, end this episode. High potion! Better than the regular and low potion. And before you ask, no, there is no low potion. Should there be? Probably. See, that's what you get for daydreaming. Should have kept walking. Cause now we're swimming again. No map. Oh boy. Whoa. I wanted to look around a bit, but I think this is the boss battle that's coming up. I don't know if I would consider this a boss battle. Alright everyone, you hear the song right here? Get used to it. Because <laughs> this plays a lot during the game. Although the or I, I think I made the right choice picking the orchestrated version of the game because it sounds a lot better than the old one. Oh, I hear the little guitar? Uh-oh. I was right not to call those fish a boss battle. Cause there's the boss.
doom. Attack him in the rib cage. Oh, I remember how you could, yeah, you actually can come back and uh, fight this guy again, but with different characters. So we can come back here, but I don't know if we're like when we're on the bridge. I don't know if we come back to that spot. So it was good that we looked around. I should probably use the potion next. I'm being punched by a giant fish monster. I don't want to be eaten! Whoa. On one hand, it's like, how is he running away from this? I mean, like, how is he swimming so fast? But then again, he, that, he does that for a living. <laughs> Even though, that's kind of unrealistic. <laughs> Would it really be that bad to get eaten by him? I mean, like, his, his rip cage is right there. You would just be in his rip cage, and I guess you could, you know, sneak your way out. And we're out of here. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. This place does sound cold. I thought I was going to die in this place. Why does this footstep sound so glitchy? Maybe it's always sounded that way, it's just now that I have headphones on. Must find fire in the next episode. <laughs> if you want to see more Final Fantasy X other games I've been playing, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in a later video. Have a good one.